few of us really know how college works. I know this from my own experience as a college student and now a college professor. And it seems that every job out there now requires a college diploma. And we think the point of college is that piece of paper called a diploma. So we have to go to college to get a job. And we think that all we need to do while in college is race to the finish line to get that diploma. Now I know about the rising cost of education. I also know that many of us race through college to keep those costs to a minimum. But, and this is very important, when all we do is race to the diploma, we lose out on what college has to offer and end up not even getting what we paid for, an education. Now I am no exception in the race to the diploma. It's exactly what I did when I went to college. I went to college because that's what I was supposed to do. I took classes and met the requirements because that's what I was supposed to do. I earned a diploma because that's what I was supposed to do. The entire time I was convinced the point of it all was that college degree, which would then just magically push open doors to really exciting and very well-paying opportunities. <laughs> I had no idea how college was supposed to work. I was what experts in education call a non-traditional college student. I was an immigrant from a working class family. I didn't speak a word of English just six years before starting college. And I graduated at the ripe old age of 28. For me, not knowing how college worked meant that I studied for the test and forgot most of what I learned when the semester ended. I just did what my professors told me and rarely showed initiative or asked questions about my classes. I figured it would all become clear when the diploma landed on the wall. And while my GPA and my diploma looked as if I had actually succeeded, I failed my education in a really fundamental way. I never saw my classes as opportunities I needed to take active advantage of. Instead, I saw them as hoops I had to jump through before starting my career. I saw them as obstacles between me and my future. So I ended up paying for busy work instead of paying for an education. As a result, I still often feel like a strange sort of creature. I've gone from not knowing the first thing about college and having to spend many postgraduate years figuring it out to teaching students who may be just as clueless as I was. Now, looking at college, college classes as obstacles is rather common for those of us from backgrounds where education um, isn't a given. We come to college, but we're not prepared for it. And we don't understand what people want from us. We don't feel entitled to college, and we're confused about the point of it all. I was an immigrant who knew next to nothing about higher education, and a first-generation college student uh, who could not navigate college, um, whose family could not help navigate college or even um, help me do so financially. I didn't know how to talk to my professors. I didn't know there was a difference between adjunct instructors and tenured professors. I didn't know why I had to take classes outside of my major. Sometimes I was even afraid to approach my professors. I didn't really see them as regular human beings. To me, they were people who had it all figured out. They were the keepers of knowledge, which I had no right to question. I thought my job as a student was to pass my classes and let the diploma do the rest. Now, in the face of it, and I'd be the first to admit it, college works in mysteriously bureaucratic ways. There are also many different ways to make sense of what it offers. One thing, however, is absolutely certain. Diplomas are less important than what they stand for. They are less important than the knowledge, skills, and experience we gain as we work to earn them. So today, I'd like to offer 10 tips for how to make the most out of college. 10 equally important tips to help ensure that when diplomas land on your walls, they actually stand for the new things you learned and the old things you learned to do better. 
One, don't sign up for classes because you've heard they're easy. <laughs> Stay away from easy classes. If you see them coming, run the other way. If you think you're a terrible writer, take classes where you have to write all the time. If you're afraid of public speaking, take speech and debate classes. If you can't make sense of statistical data, take a math class. Take the, full, take the fullest possible advantage of every single class to improve yourself and your skills, even when you don't see how these classes are related to anything you're doing right now. A lot of what we learn in college becomes obvious only much later in our careers. And on a second related point, learn to think critically, solve complex problems, and design solutions. Study to become a professional adult. Employers aren't looking for job robots to mechanically perform assigned tasks. They need creative and innovative people who work as part of a team. Three, learn how to learn. Take classes that will teach you how to absorb and manage new information. It's a surprise for us, for those of us um, who think diplomas get jobs, but the knowledge and skills we develop are usually more important than what we major in. Now, there are some pre-professional majors where this isn't necessarily the case, but statistics show that, generally speaking, there is not much connection between your majors and the various jobs you will have over the course of your careers. Four, get to know your peers and your professors. These don't have to be people in your majors. Find those who are willing to listen and understand what you're going through. Five, connect with faculty mentors. Don't wait for someone to be assigned to you. Seek out professors whose teaching and personalities inspire you. Chances are you will end up with more than one mentor and their combined advice will help guide your education. And I'll be very glad to write your recommendations. Six. Don't believe the hype. There are stupid questions. <laughs> but when these questions come out of a genuine curiosity, they'll help you learn. Don't be afraid of being embarrassed or wrong. The best kind of learning happens through trial and error. College is the perfect time and place to practice what I call the who cares mantra. Someone laughs, who cares? Shake it off and move on. Seven. Don't study for the test. Study to make the information your own. Learn how to value knowledge for its own sake. Study to better understand yourself, the people around you, and the world we live in. Think about what you're learning. Discuss it in class. Argue with your friends about it. When knowledge becomes our own, no exam will be difficult, and you will carry it with you into the future. Eight. Study foreign languages. All of us need to know how to navigate the multilingual and multicultural world we live in. Studying a foreign language will help you learn about other cultures and it will improve your proficiency in English. It will also make you stand out on the job market. Nine, do internships. Employers look for self-motivated, knowledgeable, and experienced candidates. Almost every college has a career center. Go there early and often to find out how they can help. Now, my tenth and final observation might be just a little bit controversial. There is no such thing as a boring professor. <laughs> Part of my job is to review course evaluations. As you might imagine, students' opinions about their professors are all over the place. But they all have something in common. The same student who thinks that one professor is boring enough to put her to, to sleep, right? It's, it's the same professor is then praised by another student as life-changing. Now, I've read enough of these evaluations to know this has a lot to do with students' interest and investment in what they study. In my very, very long and very labor-intensive journey from not knowing how college works to becoming a college professor, I learned something very important. When we believe that what we are learning is our own to make sense of, 
our own to use and our own to challenge, we won't need to have entertaining professors. Don't forget, people, not college diplomas, get jobs, start careers, and live meaningful lives.